Yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking that we might feed those two from the same hole. I mean, it could come into here, but then you may have a rather messy kind of um, gateway here. So that one could come in from the side and have a channel that was big enough for Space. that and that to be fed from that end. And okay. we try that. And do another one which fed directly onto the top of this. So it needs a little bit of calculation in terms of where these surfaces are. I mean, even if we miss it slightly, you'll still we'll still be able to manage it. But never mind. Um, so you can mark on you here. You can mark those. Yeah. About there, and then feed. Yeah, you can push that pin right the way through. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Try that. as vertically as possible. Yeah, right there now, good. So there are the holes there. Okay. Um, the normal procedure would be to gauge how deep this object here, which is in fact the sprue cutter, right. this is going to create the channel, the opening for the metal to be poured in. And we need to make sure that we get it down to the depth of the top of the bottom box. Do you want to do this? Or do you want to? This is going to go down onto the top of the pattern that we've got down below. And it does require quite a bit of... You can see the print of that hole there, that, that gives us um, um, good indication of what we're going to do. Um, this one, I didn't quite make it, but fortunately we've got the um, little marker there, so that's not going to be too difficult to... So I, I, I will draw out we could almost join the two together without when the aluminium hits the sand it, it keeps it in place perfectly. I mean, obviously, sand, it, the mould could collapse. Um, but it's not going to do. Um, but it could, you know, it, there is an eventuality where, in fact, the thing that you thought wouldn't happen does happen. Um, so the casting is not, uh, you know, as good as what you wanted. Right. Okay. Uh, if the sand has been. If, if the process that we carried out has been done um, well enough, the sand will stay in place. There are some times when you know, things happen and you just have to accept that uh, you know by what has gone wrong yeah. to try and avoid the next, the next time. time yeah. thing. An important thing about the sand is that it breathes as well as holding its shape, it breathes. And this means that the heat 
and the gases that are generated when you pour in the metal, instead of compressing, they move into the sand. And we can help that by putting one or two kind of feeders in um, to give extra breathing space for the heat and the gases that come from the natural process. Um, if, it, if the sand was too wet, and certainly if it was a much more solid kind of material, then you're liable for explosions to happen because there's nowhere for anything to go. You know, it's got to stay where it is. So I think we might actually put in one or two um, as you have done in the past, you know. I mean, it's probably worth doing it on top of the casting because they can be cut off. All of these extra bits can be taken off quite easily when you come to finish off the casting. In order to just free up the pattern, there's a... Can you see it shaking slightly? Now I think that what we'll do after this is where you can see what's going to happen here. The metal is going to want to, it, it's going to have to fill this void here. Now what we want to be able to do here is to increase the mm -hmm. area of the opening so that the metal will come in. So we'll have to drag a bit of that sand away. But I, I, I'll try this one as well. Hold on. We well, can probably hold a bit of that down. Yeah. Right. Well, they've come out all right. Yeah. I, I, I mean, um, very good. Okay. Make sure there's no sand in any of these locating points here. That will be fine. Uh, now, what, what we need to do on, on this side of the box here is make sure that the, the gate is providing the metal with plenty of room when it's time to pour it. So we just enlarge that hole bellows again. I mean, as you can see, there's always a possibility that some sand yeah, might drop down, down there. into the moulded void, and we don't want that to happen, so we have to be fairly careful to get it going. So that's bent, did you give it a good Yeah. Okay. yeah. I think that should be fine. Okay. Check. There you go. Check back. The nuts and bolts are a safety precaution, uh, just to avoid any possibility of the um, boxes separating when the metal goes. Sure. Yeah. yeah. That's what we're doing. Okay. Come in.